Hello, I'm Douglas Samuel. We're taking a first look at Windows 7, and now we're going to look at the notification area and tray. That's this area here, and this is where Windows provides icons to show you the status of various parts of the operating system and certain programs, and it's also where you get notifications about the health of Windows generally and sometimes of certain devices. Now Microsoft has cleaned up this area quite a bit. They provided it with a new look so the icons are cleaner and less distracting and they've tried to have fewer icons there as well it seems. So first of all let's just look at what the notification area means versus the tray. So the tray again is this area here and it provides access to certain parts of the operating system. For example, you can get the status of the battery and whether it's plugged in, the status of the network, access to the volume of the speakers, and of course the clock. One difference here, because the taskbar is higher than previous versions of Windows, there's room for the both the time and the date, which is kind of handy. Now the notification area is where Windows provides notification to you, the user, as things come up. For example, if you were to unplug a network cable, you'd see a, a message come up. Or if you plug in a new device, that kind of thing. It used to come up as a yellow balloon just above here, which would partly obscure your work sometimes. You could easily miss it, especially if you weren't at your computer at the time the event occurred, and usually it was hard to actually find those events once the bubble disappeared. Now they've changed that with this little flag here. This gives you access to the notifications. You can see this uh, red circle with the X through it, indicating there's some high priority issues. So when we click on the flag, we now see an actual list of messages and we can click on one of those messages to get further information. That's a big improvement. The other thing they've done is many programs can put an icon in the tray rather than on the taskbar itself. This is typical for programs that are running in the background that you don't necessarily want to have access to on the taskbar but you may want to check the health of occasionally or occasionally get access to and that's where they've really changed things quite a bit. It's a subtle change. What they used to have is an arrow that pointed to the left and when you clicked on it you'd get about three seconds where you'd see all the icons in the tray and then it would disappear again. So if you had like ten icons there it was hard to pick out the one you wanted sometimes and you'd have to keep clicking that little button to see the icons. Now they've got this little up arrow here and when you click that gives you a list of hidden icons and that really cleans things up quite a bit. It stays there as long as you like and it's also got a customize here so you can set which icons appear all the time down here in the tray and which ones are hidden. Another thing that they've done is they've got a show the desktop button here. I'll show you how that works. Let's say we open Explorer and let's say that we then open Firefox. So we've got a couple of things open here. Now let's say we want to look at the desktop at this point. Maybe we want to start another program and we know that there's a icon on the desktop we want to get at. Well first of all just hovering over the desktop button here is this little rectangle on the very right of the taskbar. That hides all of your programs temporarily. You can see the outline of them on the screen but you can see through them and that way you could see if the icon you wanted was even on the desktop maybe you weren't sure when you hover off then the, all the programs instantly reappear if you actually click this button then it closes all the programs that you have running on your desktop so you can see them running here but they're all minimized and when you click it again all your windows go right back where they were before it's a, quite a handy feature and it actually makes the desktop itself more useful. So that's a brief overview of the tray and notification area. I think they've done a nice job of cleaning that up. It's an improvement in Windows 7. So thanks very much for watching this video. I'm Douglas Samuel and I look forward to inviting you to watch another video about Windows 7. Bye for now.